Well, that was a video of my, what I call my E2 K1. K1L, actually. Um, ever since I heard Ed K's video of his E2 B1, Westinghouse E2 B1, uh, I loved the sound, and uh, after I did a little research, I realized that I probably couldn't afford to buy my own of the original. So I did the next best thing, I built my own. I'll take this camera off the tripod here. There, now I can get a little better view of it. Let's go from the behind here. What I did is I bought a Westinghouse E2 and then I added to that two K1L, uh, K1L Nathan Air Chimes on each side. Uh, this K1L has just left the, just the way it is and it plays uh, C flat which is what you want for the E2B one. And on the other side here I took another K1L bell and I extended, uh, I put a extended piece in here, a little barrel section that I built, and I added that in between the, the two-piece 1L bell. So I just removed the bell, added my barrel section in between, put some longer bolts in it, and uh, bored out the inside of that for the power chamber. And that one blows an A-flat. And my E2 is blowing E flat. So I have E flat, A flat, and C flat. And it sounds pretty good together, I think. Uh, I haven't listened to it from a distance, so I've just heard it close up. So hopefully on this video, I'll get a chance to hear what it sounds like a little better from a distance. And I built my own manifold also. Built that. Uh, the manifold is built out of cherry solid cherry and uh, also my barrel section is cherry. It's actually three quarter inch slabs and I just glue them all together. Same with the manifold, three quarter inch slabs all glued together with the epoxy glue and then I just shaped it the way I wanted it, drilled all my holes. The middle uh, middle slab I took a rotor and I rotored in the air channel uh, so I have air chamber for all three horns, and then a center. Let's see if I can get a little better shot. I can't. The center. Yeah, I really can't see it good there. But anyway, I have a half inch fitting coming right up in the center, and then it tees off and goes through the power chamber. Or, uh, excuse me, through the manifold. So that's what I've been working on lately. I'm pretty happy with it.